you know, we all have our strengths and weaknesses, and sometimes it's more apparent in some people um, than others, you know, when they hit their weak spots. Um, dyslexia doesn't seem to have any impact on whether or not I can find a mushroom. It does have an impact on whether or not um, I can be an accountant. Um, but I can um, do my own books pretty well. You know, I have to do it a little slower because i got to double check things to make sure I haven't done screwy stuff. And sometimes that doesn't work. But, um, you know, uh, anyway. So there's a lot of, a lot of things that come from having been abused for so many years, and that's, that's what I get my disability for. Um, especially because there's a debate about um, what um, genetic conditions are work exclusionary or not. And, um, you know, if, if you've survived without diagnosis for so long, then why in adulthood are you saying you're disabled now for that, for that reason? And um, the answer is no, I haven't survived. Actually, it's been a pretty nefarious situation. But um, I've been noticing that when I feel the pain, like in my left shoulder and stuff, um, and I'm and it's in the daytime, and I look up, I see specific individuals walking past my house, especially the old prostitute that lives, I think, next to Johnny or the next one down, the, the gray hair, and she wanders around with her cup all the time. And then this old guy comes to visit her, and they play golden oldies while they do scary things, and. Um, you know, and she's like, oh, well, I'm so old, nobody's going to think that I'm spraying drugs on people. But um, the guy next door, I think he went and tried to get a, um extension for his rent, because you got to do that in the first five days. And um, without an explanation of where his income is coming from, that's not going to happen. And I was thinking about how Cook um, is pretty nefarious. And um, that there are certain set prices to make things a legitimate way. And the only way to get um, zoning for pharmaceutical manufacture, um, you know, you have to have EPA regulations and stuff, and you have to have a smokestack a certain level, and you can't do it in residential neighborhoods and stuff. Um, so even if the substance that's being made next door is actually legal, the process of making it is not. Not without um, regulations and um, proper facilities, which these apartments are not. And uh, so, but that, you know, that gets into the question of how can you check people's sources of materials when they're selling things crazy low? And... Um, especially when they're a major company. And um, basically, you know, because of the um, way I normalize when I can avoid the situations where I'm not normal, uh, people so, uh, frequently report that I'm faking disability. Um, and so whenever I get one of those letters that I've been reevaluated and stuff like that, um, I write down, I answer their questions truthfully as I perceive it. And everything I wrote down about, you know, perceiving that people are going through my trash and that I'm being drugged all the time and that, um, you know, people are trying to kick me off the bus and stuff like that. Because um, they ask the question, are you, is your disability um, having any impact on your ability to get transportation? And I say yes, um, you know. And I explain that um, people are trying to get rid of me and stuff.